We're going to make a lead sheet for Embraceable You. On the left side, I have a PDF of the music, and on the right side, I have Sibelius. Now, the first thing I'd approach is changing the key signature. You can see we're in the key of G here, and here we're in E flat. We have three flats. So I'm going to change that by pushing the letter K on my keyboard. So you're going to choose G major and you can see my cursor is now blue. That means it's loaded and if I click someplace it's going to perform a function. I'm going to click on the key signature here and you can see it's now become sharp. We're now in the key of G. Now the first thing we're going to enter is a rest and then three quarter notes. So select the first measure and push the letter N on your keyboard for new input. What you're going to do is you're going to go down to your keypad and push rest. And there you have your first rest. Now we're going to enter the notes E, F sharp, and G. And you could do that on your keyboard here. Now I use a real keyboard so normally this is closed. And you close it by clicking the little X here. If I want to reopen it, I go to the View tab, Panels, Keyboard, click here. And I could also close it the same way by hitting the check mark. You could also click on Keyboard itself on the Word. And when you hover over it, you'll see what the shortcut is. It happens to be Option, Command, B. And you could see I could toggle the keyboard on and off using Option, Command, and then pushing B. C4 is middle C on the piano, so we're going to go to the note E. Now the default in Sibelius is already a quarter note, so we needn't worry about the value. Go to F sharp and go to G. That's a very cool quick way of putting in notes. There's another way I want to show you. We're going to enter again in a quarter rest. Now on my computer keyboard I'm going to push E, F, and G. Because the key signature is F sharp, the key of G, we have an F sharp instead of an F natural. Very cool. Other important things in Sibelius as you write will be in the View tab under Panels. We have the Transport, and that's your playback mechanism, and we have the Inspector. I'm going to push escape twice and you can see the inspector disappeared. The inspector only works when you have something selected. This is how many times things play back. Here we could delete the clef or the key signature gap of four bar is very handy. Let's say we wanted a coda. So I'm gonna delete the zero and push 10 and then return on my keyboard. And there we have a gap. I'm gonna undo that by pushing Command Z. Command Z is undo on every program that I know of on a Mac. Now if you want to close any of these windows you could go to panel and inspector and close it by clicking here or on the word inspector or by using the keyboard shortcut which shows up. Uh, I usually just click on the X. The inspector I don't use a lot but it's super handy. Another way to get this second bar here I'm going to select it right now and delete it. 
Another way to get it is to make a blue selection that's called a passage selection. And you just push R for repeat. And you can see the bar shows up again. Now the last thing we're missing here are the chords. I'm going to click on the first beat of the first measure, which is where I want to put my first chord. And I'm going to push Command plus K. And here you can see there's a flashing cursor. So what I'm going to do to enter the chord G6 is push Shift and G. Now on my computer keyboard I'll push a 6. Now to move over to this space, the first beat of the second bar, I'm going to use the space bar. I clicked it four times. It's set to move a quarter note space a piece. Now to get the B flat I'm going to push shift plus B. Now for the flat sign I'm going to just push the B without shift. And to get the diminished symbol I'm going to push command and O. And when I say O I don't mean zero. I mean the letter O. And there we have G6 to B flat. Now another cool thing I want to show you is a contextual menu. If I right click where the cursor is clicking I have my pull down menu and these are all chords that I've inserted myself and I've put in the font also that I like for my chords. So let's say I wanted diminished and I forgot what the keyboard shortcut for it was. Here you could see it's command plus O and I could just click here and it'll put in the diminished sign. I'm going to delete that by pushing delete. It'll go back one space and there we have it. Now remember when you want to exit things you push escape twice. Why twice? Because I pushed it once and you can see the B flat is selected. Just for safety I just click escape quickly twice. And that gets me out of whatever I'm in. If uh, my cursor is live, if I've selected something, you could push escape really quickly twice. One other thing, what chart isn't complete without the title? So let's put the title in. If you ever forget I just made the screen big so I could see it a little better. If you ever forget where something is, you could simply type it in the find and ribbon. This is kind of like a Google search for Sibelius. So I'm going to type in title. And here we have text, styles, common title. Now it's telling you you cannot create a title in panorama which I knew already so they want you to turn that off now where am I going to find panorama I'm going to go to view tab and here it is right here you could drag your score over to the center if you'd like now it's become a little small so if I push command and the plus sign you see it gets larger so that's more tenable a little easier to see now we want to put in the title that would be under the text tab styles you're going to push the lower arrow here on the right title says symphony in E flat now just type in embraceable U Now you see I have my margins turned on here so I'm going to drag this down a little then drag the title up. There you have it. One other thing to know is you're working from the full score here. So if I added instruments like a trumpet, bass, drums they would show up here. 
But if you want to look at just your part, you click here. So you're going to do all your editing on the full score, but eventually this is where you want to print from, from your vocal part. The shortcut key for switching back and forth from part to full score is W. Here's my full score, part, score, part. If you want to listen, you could hit your play key. Another way to do that is to push the space bar. And to stop, push the space bar again. Well, that completes my first lesson on how to make a lead sheet. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you.